Hey, now I'm in Lake Charles, Louisiana with a broken trailer from a buzz by a semi that pushed me off the road. I'm currently looking for a machinist that can help me build a new trailer I designed that's narrower, more durable, and ultimately safer, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I want to get back to the multiple attempts it took just to get moving forward south. The next attempt was quickly thwarted by drivetrain problems. I made it about 10 miles up the road before my chain skipped in every single gear. It wasn't doing this before. I took the wheel off to check to see why the chain was skipping so badly, which the chain was skipping really badly, by the way. Um, this started up today, uh, we hit the road, and she said, shh, 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 the railers just it. I've, I've gone through all the stuff, so. So I'm, I'm, I'm replacing the master link chain and uh, the, the cassette on the back. So that should do it. It ended up being trouble with my rear cassette sprocket derailleur. It took about 18 hours of replacing, adjusting, rethinking, adjusting some more, until finally it was ready to go again. The bike can be pretty unwieldy to work on sometimes, and I end up being some kind of awkward and graceful grease monkey ballerina. I try not to work in dark conditions for what I think are obvious reasons, but most of the time I don't have a say in the matter. When there's work to be done, it's a near constant effort just to get past it. Time is meaningless, all I see are steps forward. There we go. I call my bike my fickle lover for a reason. It's because she is, but I wouldn't trade her. Then we finally made it off again, and we made it further this time. The first week or so taught us a lot. I promise the video gets way more interesting the further I go. Trust me, I'm in the middle of it right now.